Hello everybody and welcome back uh, uh, to the Torch Hate Estate. Ba -ba -na 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 -na. Alrighty. So, in the last one, we, uh, unintentionally, went on a bit of a boss rush. However, we did manage to push out the Brigand Wolf. And because of that, we don't have to worry about him again. Which, uh, I'm pretty thankful for. Uh, Thing from the Stars is still roaming around, so you can never really get away from him, but you can try to avoid him. And then, not to mention, we finally hit the Hallway Shambler, although it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So, all in all, running around in pure darkness wasn't as dangerous as I thought it was, considering we've run into a Hallway Shambler maybe twice in the entire series like that's a really good ratio what i think we're going to do in this episode is i would like to go get some of our trinkets back um it's only two but still that's two more than we have currently um <coughs> and after that i think we need to get a little bit more leveling done and after we get some levels in then we're going to be able well, I would like to take out the Viscount, but going for the Cracked Garden Guardian could also be a really good idea. Um, and then, of course, we do still have... Wow, that's an interesting trinket. I wish we could go for the Vengeful Spirit right now. This trinket looks insanely good. Not to mention... Alright, let's pair the Lotus Pin with um, the Tattered Parasol in Sunward Isles, that's 40% plus all these sevens. That's pretty good. Now, the only bad thing is the minus healing received. Um, so you better hope that she's able to dodge, because if she's not, well, she's going to be in a bit of trouble. Now, if we did combine it with the tower, that would kind of counteract the whole uh, minus healing received because she'd be taking less damage which is kind of a big deal um other than that that seems like a really good trio of items right there like i'm pretty sure she would be so hard to kill i don't think you could kill her easily so we are going to level up a couple of people i am going to take out little red do not do it um I'm going to take her out because I would really like to make her a night spawn and pretty much just make her a bit of a dodge tank. Uh, I would also like to level up Minerva, and we also still have plenty of other people that we need to level. So, whew, hopefully we can actually get some leveling done and we don't run into every boss in the known universe. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get on with the leveling. Alrighty, we are in with with unnamed the vamp with a vivid memory strength the tower cut vein tear artery night stock and transfusion Little red the hood with the garlic pendant living shield tattered parasol Psst. What is this piece of cake and a sip of wine? She is also a dark brood. It worked the first try Minerva, the milkmaid, but lost bracelet, Eustace's head, maws of the insatiable, cosmic trident, comet, kindness, glimmering butterfly, and crystallizing talon. And Kagero, the assault Kunoichi, with the crystalline forks, uh, the moon, the chorus Luna. Whew. Overall, should be a pretty decent team. I definitely don't think it's going to be bad at all. Uh, especially because she's in Frenzy, her crit chance is going to be really, really high combined with Chorus Luna. Mm. We're against Onibis, which basically they raise the torch, so uh, not great. We are going to buff our dodge, and then we're going to guard someone next turn. Oh, I am one with the Shadows of Night. Um, this one. <laughs> yeah, that works. Sadly, they are immune to the whole uh, bleed thing. But, you know. So is anyone injured? Not really. We're going to go for Thomas Kindness. Alright, there's a disease. 
Ember. That's going to raise the torch. Ember. That is also going to raise the torch. And you guessed it, that's going to raise the torch. So this is a very shuffle-heavy party. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to land any bleeds against uh, balls of fire, but you know. Rawr, I'm unleashed! Well, I guess that works. Uh, we're going to guard... We'll guard her. <laughs> Are they calling your last name? Um, let's hit here. Delicious. Mm. All right. Hideous, yet powerful. He's going to go for Ember. That's going to raise the torch once again. And... Big damage. Not bad. Didn't get any food for that. Wonder what the chances were of that. Uh, we're not going to touch this because I don't trust them anymore. <sighs> 64 dodge. Didn't matter. 64. Maybe she didn't have 64 when she died, but... Ugh. Level 1 dungeon. Above 50 dodge. How do you not dodge a single hit? Well, we're gonna go for the Shrieklings now, because that... Mm, that has thoroughly annoyed me. Also, whose trinket is this? I didn't realize you could uh, resist that shot. But... Now we're in. We bring Hunter, the Saw Hunter, with the Ancestor's le Letter Opener, Bone, Appetite, Crystalline Forks, Bloodletting Teeth, Into the Wounds, Serrated Knife, and Augur of Embryetus. Dismiss the Highwayman with Strength, the Moon, Chorus Luna, Wicked Slice, Point Blank Shot, Tracking Shot, and Duelist Advance. Josephine the Antiquarian with the Master's Essence, Smoldering Hurricane Lamp, Azure Blue Ring, Get Down, Flash Powder, Fortifying Vapors, and Invigorating Vapors. And Lyra the Falconer with Strength, Vivid Memory, Embracement, Cloak, Quick Shot, Crippling Shot, Eye Thief, Ravage, Fleeting Escape, Harrier, and Adapt. So, we have a 1 in 4 chance of instantly going there. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna go ahead and go left first. I'm, I got a good feeling about left. Also, I did just want to bring up, I'm thinking of doing maybe an experimental series or two. Um... Maybe a series of, like, a game I think nobody's really going to watch, but it's mainly just for me. Hey, we went the right way. I don't know. It's something I've been thinking. Um, the experimental series, in case you're curious. Um, pretty much. Not that I'm going to become a YouTuber that only does that. But I was thinking of doing a series in Minecraft. Hear me out. But, the gimmick of it will be, I play on hard hardcore mode, and if I die, the series is over. Likewise, so the series doesn't go on forever, if I kill the Ender Dragon, the series is also over. So it has a really nice ending point in case I get there, but the rule is, whenever I die, that's it. So, it could be one episode, it could be a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. But I was thinking that could maybe be a fun little experimental challenge. Um, just to try out, you know, I don't know if it... I don't know if you guys will enjoy it or not, but that's kind of why I'm bringing it up here. Um, so that you guys can let me know what you think. And, if you like the sound of it, maybe I'll do it. Although I'm kind of planning to do it anyway, but if you guys like the idea of it, that's going to help me decide to do it a lot more. As for experimental series, or as for a series quote quote for me, maybe something that, maybe something hyperdimension related. It's over! And he's dead to bleed. What can I say? I'm just far too good at this game. <laughs> Return to Hamlet! What did we get back? Alright. 
Well, we got our ghost puzzle box and the Star of Doom, so we got the trinkets back that we lost. A group of howling demons are keeping villagers up at night. These beasts lie by the nearby shrine, shrieking aggressively throughout the night. Plot quest, the Gated Fiends. Also, somebody got... Yeah, this. Corvid's Anxiety, plus 5 dodge per 25 stress. Man, that would have been good on either the Innocent or, um... Or the Hood. Oh, well. Alas, I do not control where the quirks go. But, that being said, we did get our trinkets back. Uh, this is for the Courtesan. 100% bleed duration, minus 10% damage, plus 10% strength. Uh, stress, strength. <laughs> okay, well, that was exciting. Let's attempt to do some more leveling. So, this is the Fortified Tori and Odorotoshi. And then this is still the Vengeful Spirit. Gain permanent repost. Can never really go wrong with that. Um. All right. Also, as for who gets Tiara's blessing, I'm kind of debating Ivanko, but at the same time, does he need to be stronger? I don't know. What what will he do if we give him more strength? Like he's already pretty powerful, considering he's got the Flesh Curse, the Frenetic Shell, Hakutaku Splendor, and Blade Master. Like he's he's pretty tough. Oh, I guess we could always make him just a little bit stronger. All right, we're back in the court, slowly burning away the enemy hives. With Yukari the Duchess with Strength, Hardhanger, the Tower, all of her abilities. Corin Lazelle with the Vivid Memory, Star of Doom, and Chorus Luna. Ainz the Veiled with Judgment, Immortal Remains, the Tower. And Disfigure, Give to the Living, Grave Grasp, and Death Wish which heals him for a whopping 82% max health whenever he uses it, thanks to this skull. Or wait. Yeah, around there, 82%. Um, and then the fool, the fool. With the ruthless septons, the sun, Persephone's crown, whale weeping song, first circle, and fifth circle. All of the circles will be open in time. So... This is a pretty all-in team. This team pretty much wants to do as much damage as it can possibly dish out. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's pretty good at what it does. It also has a fair bit of utility, thanks to all the regen uh, granted by the Fool, plus all the healing that the Veiled is doing, and the self-healing from the Duchess, so yeah, this team is pretty good. Deafening wine. Ah, unfortunately, we did that. Uh, he did dodge it. I'm gonna put a burn on him. I'm surrounded by shades. And actually, you know what? Let's buff up. Goodbye. Pretty close. Now the blight on everybody was kind of unfortunate, especially because we just used the uh, fifth circle. But. You know, that's fine. And we're gonna try and finish him off. Everybody gets a little bit of a stress heal, thanks to the Duchess, and we finish him off with a 20 crit. Oh, now you see why this is our domain. We burn away their hives, and we steal away their treasure. Uh, Catherine's head, the rolled bones, and a puzzling trapezohedron. All in all, that wasn't that bad. And like that, we're done. What did we get? Bum 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 bum. So we got the shameful locket for the highwayman. Pretty good. Uh, 12.6k gold. We got four busts and two portraits. We also got three level sixes. Robust. Mm -hmm. And Sleepwalker. As it turns out, we might have given Ivanko a little bit too much power. The crown of corrosion from the depths below that accursed manor. A being of festering filth has emerged. It has infected a familiar face, but it threatens to erode the very foundation of our estate. Well... Eh, it 
that's a problem. So, we need to go save Ivanko by uh, beating some sense into him. Which, uh, <laughs> considering how powerful we've made him, this might be a problem. While it might look a bit different now, remember that it was once our leper. Alright boys, remember, we're not here to kill him, we're here to rescue him. We just gotta beat some sense into his uh, eroded body. Okay, so, he's got two rotting cultists here in front of him. Um, ignores stealth, guards, and protection. Great. Uh, cannot take damage from heroes. 100% of damage that would have been dealt from heroes is converted into health. That being said. So, they got healed a little bit. They have 11 health and 12 health. Um, we are going to give her the blood. The sensation is overwhelming. I went ahead and changed the music. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so we're going to go straight into Fencer Stance. We want to do as much damage as we can. We're going to give her the blood as well. I can feel my toes once more. Um, <laughs> get a little bit of damage because we're absolutely not stunning him. Cultist Chop. He's killed one of his own. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's get some big damage on him. Alright, he has a bleed and he's on fire. Although he doesn't seem to mind that very much. Cultist Chop. Alright, both cultists are down. Now it's just us and Ivanko. We're gonna dare, that way she can have a little bit of an extra buff. We're also going to go back to Pitch Black. Um, little bit more damage, it's definitely not gonna be a whole lot, but you know, every little bit counts. Um, let's focus Spirit. And now let's give him a little whack! Not bad. Everybody is a little, they feel a little bit better because we're slowly beating the sense back into him. Oh boy. Uh, back she goes. No, oh, she resisted. Held her ground somehow. Whew. It's all because of Wolf. If he had only gotten that map yesterday, he would have not turncoated. Ugh. Ugh. If he would have gotten that nap yesterday, I'm telling you, he would feel just fine today. 38 damage, not bad. Whew. 28 crit. The less, the better. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to go for a group heal. Everybody's looking a bit better now. Um, at least they were. All right. He got some big damage on us, but we did get a little bit in return. Move her forward. We need to burn away the erosion. Parenting birds, that's gonna hurt. Uh, back she goes. <laughs> All right. So we need to do a big heal. First, we need to get her back into fencing stance. 56 crit. All right, now we need to do a big single target heal. All right, 31 crit, not bad. He's almost back. The erosion is almost gone. We almost got him back to our side. Ouch. He's still doing a lot of damage though, I can tell you that much. Uh, let's move back, set up for a post. Parachute curves, back she goes. Oh, held her ground again. Um, let's go into a guard stance because I would like to be able to heal. Not that this is going to do a whole lot because he ignores guards, but let's heal her up. All right, come back to us. Nine over six, that is a huge bleed. Oh boy. Ugh. All right, 
I have a feeling the erosion's about to burn away. <gasps> and with that, he's ready to come back. <gasps> well, even though he's passed out on the ground, it looks like he dropped some really cool stuff. So we'll take a look at that when we're back in town. But for now, let's get our buddy back home. The wolf has heard of us rescuing Ivanko, and now he's back for revenge. So we have to deal with the wolf again. However, he may not look exactly how he did the previous time. Ivanko is back and feeling better than ever, and even has some new trinkets. He has the Crown of Corrosion, which is 50% max health, but every time he gets hit, he takes an additional 3 damage. He has the Necros Visage, which is the lower his health is, the more crit and accuracy he has. And then he has the Festering Blade, which is 30% damage to melee skills, minus 12 speed, which is kind of insane. Uh, and every time he hits, he has a chance to hurt himself. He also ignores Stealth, Guard, and Protections. But he does have minus 25% healing received. But, I mean, look at our boy. He is looking. Woo! You might have gone a little crazy because he didn't get his afternoon nap. But he looks so much better. I mean, look at this. 101 health, 40% crit. He's pretty tough. But now we have to worry about the white wolf. Eugene's Blade, minus 95% damage, on attack, 25% chance to inflict 50 true damage, boundary between life and death. Well, I think our friend Ivanka would like a bit of revenge. We enter the farmstead and we hear a faint howling in the distance. Once again, we face the wolf. But this time he's, uh, quite angry. However, so is our friend Ivanko. Now, this is a <laughs> gloriously strong team we're bringing. As you may have noticed, <laughs> we're sparing no expense this time. Okay, so. We bring Ivanko, the recently rescued leper with the crown of corrosion, Necros Visage, Festering Blade, uh, Chop Revenge, Withstand and Solemnity, Celeste the Stars with the Dreamless Dreams, the Chorus Luna, Sonus de Stella, and all of her abilities, Lilith the Lilith with a Vivid Memory, the Ghost Puzzle Box, and the Wolf's Tassel as a sign of our dominance over his defeat. And Ainz the Veiled, with Judgment the Immortal Remains, the Garlic Pendant Disfigure, Give to the Living, Grave Grasp, and Death Wish. So, let's show him why he should have never returned. Even if it is to a place that technically isn't ours. I'm gonna hit the barrel of bombs. I don't know what kind of downside that'll have, but that's alright. Get them! Crystalline Raider. Crystalline Barrier. The same old wolf. With the same old tactics. He will fall just like last time. <laughs> Prepare for slaughter. Excuse me? Um... Bombs away. Well, clearly, he's been underestimated just a little. So, 125% damage reflection when guarding. Spectra Onslaught, plus 75% damage, 50% damage reflection, and stun him to stop the Onslaught. Oh. Hmm. Clearly, he has some of his own new toys, but that won't stop us. We need to stun him before this gets out of hand. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna pass. 
ass. Mm, space time transcend. Okay, she's still transformed. That's okay. Alright, now we can stun him. Little iffy, but we managed it. So he's not guarding, so now we can pre presumably, we can hit him quite hard. Ow. Slashendarius! Alright, so we stopped the onslaught. Wait, no we didn't. Uh, hmm. What is dead may never die. Here's what we're gonna do. And then... Ivanko's ready to exact his revenge! Ah. <laughs> Apparently so was Volk. Time's up! Alright, Ivanko's on death's door. Not ideal. Let's go for Don. Damage reflection? No, he doesn't have any. Good. Give to the living! Well, that is going to be a big regen when it actually goes off. Oh. Oh, she took the 10 damage? Come on! Get them! Other world can win. Hmm. That's still gonna do so much damage. Ah! Time's up! Woo! Okay. <laughs> he is significantly more dangerous than I thought. Bombs out. He died from that? Oh, it was because of his trinket. Well, Ivanko fainted again. Honestly, uh, probably should have just let him rest after his whole uh, transformation thing. <sighs> Regardless, he might have passed out, but we can still finish this fight. After all, you can't let a main character die. It's called uh, plot armor. So we got rid of his bombs. Is that going to have a huge downside? I guess we'll find out one way or another. Almost down. Crystalline barrier. He's gonna have a lot of damage reflection. Ouch! Ugh. What is dead may never die. All right. She's gonna take a ton of return damage, but let's finish this fight for Ivanka. Whew. All right, now let's get our boy home before he dies for real. All righty, so Wolf's Fang. 50% damage if afflicted, minus 70% uh, stress damage done, plus 100% stress healing done from heart attacks. On attack, self plus four stress. All right. Wolf's Hide, accuracy, debuff, debuff chance, minus dodge, 
and on attack, uh, inflict minus two speed. And then Wolf's Howl. 15% max HP, 50% guard duration applied, 50% damage reflection while guarding, minus 100% protection. And then the set bonus is even like this. He's still howling. 50% stress healing received if stress is above 70%, plus 100% stress healing done from crits, and minus 10% stress from husks. Wow. This has been eventful. We rescued Ivanko from becoming completely eroded. And then we took out the White Wolf. Although Ivanko was quite beaten up, so uh, we're going to let him rest for the moment. Woo-wee. Man. And to think, I just wanted to get some leveling done. All right. I definitely didn't forget anything. As you can see, definitely forgot nothing. So... Minerva, the milkmaid with the ancestor's letter opener, Eustace's head, the lost bracelet, uh, cosmic trident, cosm... comet's kindness, glimmering butterfly, and crystallizing talon. Lori the innocent with the phantasmal veil, which is apparently not working exactly how I thought it was supposed to, but it's the only way to change her back. Strength, judgment, all of her, uh, <coughs> all of her abilities, rose the air with judgment, the ancestral elixir, the Tower, Rose's Thorn, Bloom, Divine Communion, and Rose's Embrace. And Jezebeth, the Succubus. With Wolf's Fang, Wolf's Howl, and Bon Appetit, and all of her abilities. So you may be asking, Shadow, are you really giving Ivanko plot armor because he died? Yes, he didn't die, he passed out. <laughs> because it, that, alright. As far as lore goes, he didn't die. But as far as in reality, I've never fought the what the white wolf, so I wasn't expecting him to die. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have brought him. Um, truth be told, uh, taking that trio of trinkets probably wasn't the best idea. But I wanted to try him, and I figured, you know, lore-wise, it makes sense that he wants revenge on the guy who turned him into a giant monster. <laughs> um, is that exactly how it went? No! Not exactly, but you know what? I'm sure you guys will agree. He just fainted, right? Say it with me. Just fainted. Nothing else happened. Oh my god. Please! you that took so much longer than it should have anti-transfer okay apparently this thing is terrible so as far as i know you're supposed to go into the files and change it yourself but why why do you need to do that why not just uh, why not just have the trinket reactivate playtime so that she can change back like why make it RNG. Like, see, playtime, change to mode play, but then say, Phantasmal Veil, reactivate playtime. Uh, everybody gets a one stress heal, but she changes back to Prim. You know? I don't know. I mean, I'm no modder, but it doesn't seem that terrible. <laughs> Alright, truth be told, I don't know if we're even gonna get to the boss. We've gone through two fights, and stress is so insanely high. Yeah, I... Mm, I don't know if this is gonna really work out. We'll try it again with another team. But, uh, this team just ain't really gonna cut it. <laughs> the damage, even though the Succubus does a lot of damage, um... We just don't have enough to keep up with this. Like, even though she is scaling, we're we're just not gonna make it through all these fights. Like, we're we've already seen that our damage is super super low. But we will take the treasure before we leave. Alzarin's head and puzzling trap sahedron. Well, at least it was somewhat worth the trip. 
Well, if nothing else, a meteor shower has gifted our resident adorable aberrations with a unique boost in power. Do ensure they don't grow too large, will you? Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> we got some stress healing to do. We also still have the rotten prize to go do, but apparently stress is quite significantly higher than I thought it was going to be. But, for the moment, I believe that is going to do it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And, now we know Ivanko is not going to lose himself again. Even though he might have once, you know, and it, it wasn't technically his fault. He's taking a nap right now, so he'll be all better in the next one. But, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you would think of a uh, hardcore Minecraft series. It's the only Minecraft series I'm gonna do. Um, I would prefer not to become a Minecraft channel, but I would still like to do one series of it. Um, well, it'll either be one episode or it'll be a million, but it'll stop when we kill the Ender Dragon or we die. So, you never know which episode is going to be the last. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, for an outro, I think I would like our, our dear channel mascot down there in the bottom right. I think I would like something simple. Maybe a little music, a little gif of her doing a little, little jimmy, a little dance, and then, you know normal outro stuff with like oh find the rest of the series on the left watch a random other series on the right and then in the sort of middle in the top it'd be like my icon and it'd be like oh if you feel like subscribing click right here i think that'll be a good idea however um i need to find someone who's willing to animate that for me so eh could be a while. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.